DigitalKnowledgeBox.com. To give you an idea of the value of this course, I placed a quick phone call to an Apple Care specialist to see how much they would charge for the same exact job. Uh, hi, Anthony. I'm calling about um, a MacBook that I have. Um, I was referred to your company from Apple Care. The problem that I'm having is that my MacBook, the optical drive on it is pretty much shot. Okay. And, and I need to have that replaced. And so I'm wondering, first of all, like, you know, I'm trying to evaluate the cost here. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm looking at in service charge. Okay, um, that, probably, that would probably be a one hour labor charge at $75. 75 bucks to replace the optical drive. Okay, I guess that's the going rate. I appreciate all the information. All right, thank you, sir. All right, thanks, Anthony. Okay, bye. bye. So there you have it. This course is worth at least $75. I mean, some, some guys might charge upwards of 100, 125 for that service charge. So that's actually a pretty good rate at $75. But uh, without further ado, here's all that information that you can do yourself now just by following all of these video tutorials. All right, so for this video, uh, for Digital Knowledge Box, we are going to do a little uh, surgery here on the MacBook. This is my MacBook. And um, the problem that I've had recently is that the uh, DVD drive has not been um, uh, burning DVDs successfully. And so unfortunately I got to a point where I've needed to replace this DVD drive for my MacBook. So that's what we're gonna learn how to do today. And the first thing you'll need is to order yourself a new DVD drive. I'll provide a link for where you can find these. You're going to need some other tools, uh, something like a coin, or I'm just going to use this little tool here to help pop the battery off the back. Um, this little Phillips head screwdriver, a uh, small little screwdriver there. Also, I've got this, uh, this card. It's just a little nylon card that I know won't carry a static charge. And uh, I'm going to use this when we have to do a little prying and, um, and whatnot when we get inside of the computer. Um, but to start out with, what we need to do is flip the computer over and remove the battery. All right, so this is actually a, an easier, one of the easiest things. I'm just going to take my little coin here or, or coin tool and you turn it from locked to unlocked and you'll see the battery pop up like that and then you simply pull that battery off. Okay, so just set that aside. The next thing to do is to get your Phillips head screwdriver and in here you will find this little bracket that runs along the side of the battery here. And what holds this bracket in are one, two, three little Phillips head screws. And uh, so what we want to do now is loosen those screws. Okay, so once you loosen those screws, uh, you'll see that they come out and luckily, uh, the, there's a nice design feature here. You'll see these little screws. I've got it held, held upside down here, but they are built into this little L bracket, uh, so they stay there. And I guess this would be a good point to tell you that doing any of this work yourself voids the warranty of your uh, Macintosh. So uh, if you if you still have if your computer's still under warranty, you may want to just take this in and have it done by a professional. My computer is over five years. I think it's a three or five year warranty. So um, I am not concerned about uh, voiding the warranty because I don't have one anymore. For a complete list of all the tools and a link to where you can actually pick up a replacement DVD drive for your MacBook, please visit digitalknowledgebox.com forward slash Mac 
DVD replace. There you'll be able to find the complete video download as well as a, a helpful ebook, 50 Easy Steps to Replacing the MacBook Optical Drive. So again, that's digitalknowledgebox.com forward slash Mac DVD replace. Digitalknowledgebox.com